Chrissy G and Helen Scott. Welcome to our third Lean Pub launch video. Thank you for having us. Thank you. It's great to be here. It's so great to talk to you, uh, the, the three of us together. Um, for anyone uh, watching, uh, they're actually separate sort of long form podcast interviews that I've done with Trisha and Helen that will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. So watch this space. Um, but we're here today just to do a brief video uh, uh, to talk about their book, uh, Getting to Know IntelliJ Idea, and to talk about them. So Trisha, I was wondering if you could start about just talking a little bit about yourself. Sure. Um, I'm Trisha G. I'm a uh, Java champion, developer advocate, uh, and apparently author. Um, and uh, I've been doing Java in development for about 20 years. I've been doing developer advocacy for about 10. That's a bit frightening. Um, and then uh, and over the last couple of years, I've been working with Helen, um, firstly at JetBrains, where I used to work. Uh, where she now works, and um, and then very shortly after that, on on this book, uh, getting to know IntelliJ idea. And Helen, what about you? Yeah, so as Josh has just said, I am the lead Java developer advocate at JetBrains. Before that, uh, I was mostly involved in technical writing, and before that, it was Java. So it's kind of been Java, technical writing, Java, bit of a Java sandwich. Um, so yeah, in the last couple of years, Trisha, did, she said something so innocent, you know, it was along the lines of, do you want to write a book with me? And, and I, again, went, sure, that sounds fun. And that was two years ago, and here we are. So, yeah, it's been an exciting couple of years. Yeah, exciting before... is not necessarily the word I would have used, but sure, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was really hard, great to see the exciting. book. Really great to see the book come out and to talk to both of you in the podcast about all the work you did and and the sort of details of your your collaboration. Um, uh, and I was wondering if you could just talk a little bit about that. Uh, maybe Trisha, if you could talk about what was the what was the process? Did you come up with an outline for the whole book at the start and then you know sign each other a chapter and review each other's work, or was it more commingled than that? Uh, all of the above. Okay. Um, <laughs> So I was just um, I was just writing a blog post about our about the history of the book and about the process because the way I remembered it was not actually necessarily the way that it was um, because I was like oh yes for two years we've been working on the book every single day definitely like no no that's not what happened at all um, in the beginning we generally I mean bearing in mind that we were working together so we would often be able to chat together about stuff anyway but we would set aside. Um, an hour every week to begin with, just to see where we were with the book, um, set goals for the next week or so, generally go off and do a little bit of writing on a chapter that we picked for ourselves, um, usually fairly independently, um, and then come back and kind of like share what, what had happened. Quite soon after we started that, we, we then started using um, a tool called Code of Me, which is part of IntelliJ IDEA now, um, but was very, very new at the time because it was all sort of remote working, sort of in a in a pandemic world and that was that made our lives much much easier because we were writing in IntelliJ idea um using ASCII doc um and uh and using code with me which let us talk remotely to each other I mean you've got the core window and your remote pairing on the on the stuff as well so we were setting aside time um several times a week to work together on the book and usually what what I would do is usually Helen would be driving and I would just be blah all my expertise at her while she frantically tried to catch up with that um and then she'd be asking me loads of questions like well why is this important you know what are you trying to get across um why has no one ever covered this before or like um and i'd be saying things like you know what we should point to these other resources because i know there's this 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 and this but i, I don't want us to repeat any of that stuff um that was our sort of default process but um then towards the end once we had much more sort of content down then we did a lot more kind of going off on our own and i was doing a bunch of screenshots and helen was doing a lot of like tidying up the, the crap that i'd spewed out of my mouth um and finding she was finding a lot of the gaps um one of the other things that occurred to me while i was saying that as you said was there an outline yeah one of the first things we worked on actually was a was a table of contents of kind of what we wanted to cover um, the final book is not really the same as the original book i think i counted up we had like 20 topics we wanted to cover, which um, I think at the time were, it was just one book with 20 chapters in. Um, very quickly, we realized it needed to be split into, into sections, very distinct sections with very distinct feelings. Um, and I think we did that, Helen, or we did the majority of that work when I came to see you at your house in, in summer last year. 
We yeah. actually printed out a copy of the book oh, good. And, um, and, and rearranged everything on your dining room table. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did. We just sat down with our with our post its and our red pen and the occasional glass of carver, and we're like, right, that goes there, that goes there. We don't need that. And we were quite ruthless, actually, even back then. With um, so, something that we spoke about before, you mentioned it there, Trisha. Was why why include this? Because I I'm a technical writer by career, so for me, I'm like kind of like product documentation all the time. And I had to step out of that and think, well, we have great product documentation for this. So we really need to think about why. Why are we including this thing? Why is it helpful for developers? Why why should they even care to be quite ruthless about it? So we had a lot of those conversations when we were collaborating either in Code With Me or the couple of times we we were supposed to get together another time, weren't we? But I had COVID, so that didn't happen. (laughs) Um, But whenever we were collaborating, we were always kind of focusing on getting as much of the information out of Trisha's head as we could, thinking about the why, and then a lot of the value that I brought to the project specifically was uh, understanding kind of what was important and pointing out perhaps blind spots because Trisha's a very proficient Java developer. She's been doing it a very long time. So some of the things that she does, um, she, she almost does it on autopilot. So sometimes we'd have to go, or I'd have to say, okay, that's fun, but why are you doing that? And that was helpful for both of us to go, oh yeah, good point. Let's stop and have a think about that. Yeah, one of the really great things, I'm sorry to interrupt, but one of the really great, I'm just, one of the really great things about the book is the way you actually incorporate that sort of collaborative process and your different perspectives on things into the book through the these sort of little call outs of Trisha's tips and Helen's hints. Um, yeah. uh, and it's kind of like it's it's sort it's it's very smart, right? Because it's about different this this book isn't for one odd. There's different people come at it from different perspectives. So how can we say this is relevant to you, even if you're a beginner, though even though it sounds advanced, and I can tell you why, because I'm advanced. And then Helen could say, you know, if you're advanced, this might all make sense to you. If you're a beginner, you might be wondering, you know, how is this useful for me? Well, here's how it's useful for you as a beginner because, you know, exactly. l- later on, et cetera. And it was just so great. So great to see that. Um, uh, we've almost buried the lead a little bit here. So I was wondering, Helen, if you could maybe talk a little bit about what IntelliJ IDEA is for people who don't who don't know. Sure. So IntelliJ IDEA is uh, an IDE, so an integrated development environment produced by JetBrains. It was first launched back in 2001. I think, <laughs> um, and since then it's it's gone from strength to strength. We get three releases each year, so it's constantly being changed and improved and new features added. And something again that we put in the book, the, the clue really is in the name in terms of integrated, because we say IDE and we kind of throw the phrase around and we don't usually stop to think what that means. One of the elements that we put in the book was in the flow, because as developers, you know, when we're we're solving a problem or we're implementing a new feature or whatever it is we're doing, the chances are we need to be in the zone, whatever that zone looks like for us. We need to be in the flow and we need our tooling to help with that. So uh, we were very keen to point out a lot of the the ways that IntelliJ IDEA can help developers with that. And you don't necessarily need to context switch out of your IDE go over here, do a thing, come back to your IDE because IntelliJ IDEA has all these integrations that you can just keep in one place, keep stay in your flow, stay in your process and how the tool can really help you to, you know, be, be better essentially, uh, you know, in whatever job that you're doing. Yeah, great. That's a very great uh, explanation. Thanks very much for that. And um, uh, for those for those for those watching, you know, the book is full of, of as Trisha mentioned, all these like really amazing screenshots as well as as well as words um, by two professionals who know what they're doing about explaining things. So if you want to learn how to be, it's not just learn like the product IntelliJ idea, but also how to become a better developer using an integrated developer environment. You know, this is a really great book for you. Um, the last question I guess I would have for you, Trisha, would be, are you are you doing anything these days to promote the book that people should know about? Um, probably not as much as I should do. Um, so to, to promote the book, sorry, um, I've written a couple of blog posts about um, uh, mostly meandering around the journey it took to to write the book um, and having lots of conversations like this kind of thing, um, but also trying to solicit some feedback on, on places like Twitter and Mastodon and things, like not just 
those sorts of things are great to be like, hey, buy my book. But one of the other things that was kind of interesting to us is we were really trying to think about the reader of the book, like you said, the different levels of readers and how they might want to read the book. And one of the things we're kind of keen to do is also solicit feedback back from readers and um, and maybe incorporate some of that into, into the book going forward. But it's also quite a good way to sort of promote the book. Like, hey, it's not just, it's, it's like a living thing. That's the great thing about Lean Pub, right? It, it can be a living document, even though we... We chose to finish it and then publish it, unlike some of the Lean Pub books, which are much more open while it's in progress. But we still, it's still very interesting to us to figure out are there topics that we missed or are there, like, because we have this frequently asked questions thing as well. Like, we could add some questions in there and do some clarification. So, um, one of the things that's really important to us is, is to get into in touch with the readers themselves to sort of help figure out where where the book is going to go from here. Uh, and uh, for anyone watching, when it comes to getting in touch, there will be links in the description of this video to all to Helen and Tricia online and uh, to the book and to you know all sorts of other resources. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and Helen and Tricia, thank you very much for being on our third launch video. Thank you very much for having us. Thanks, Len. It was fun. Thanks.